Here is today's port weather forecast. Three years after their first ever meeting, Royal Caribbean International's top executives were invited back to share an intimate perspective of their sponsory, the music makers Junkanoo Group. Michael Bailey, the president and CEO of Royal Caribbean International said, we've been treated to several performances by the music makers on board our ships for special occasions, including our return to service following the pandemic and inaugural sailings. We've even flown them to the Barry Islands to entertain on board and dockside at our private island destination, Perfect Day at Coco Cay. But we wanted to see them in their own home grounds, the place where all the magic is created. It was fascinating to listen, see, and learn how the pieces are made and carried. This visit occurred at one of two shacks occupied by the music makers on Fowler Street in the heart of the inner city in Nassau. The physical element of Jemkanu performances can include carrying large pieces that weigh up to 200 pounds. After meeting in 2019, Royal Caribbean began exploring ways to link with Jemkanu. Wanting to support the national cultural phenomenon and being impressed by music makers, Royal Caribbean and their team started including the music makers, retaining them to perform at special events. The following year, in 2020, Royal Caribbean announced at the grand opening of Bullock's Harbor Community Center, funded by the Royal Caribbean Group, a major sponsorship of $100,000 for the music makers. Thanks for watching Sailors 365. Subscribe today and stay up to date with the latest breaking news.